All right, welcome everyone. My name is Eleni Summershields. I am the Chief Operating Officer here at Wise Agent, and I'm joined by, um, your, I'm gonna, I already told them before we started, I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna mess up your names and I have a name to mess up too. So I feel horrible. Yodi, which I know that's not the correct that's pronunciation. Perfect. That's the Greek pronunciation. That's Greek, yeah. <laughs> Yodi, and I wrote down the, the phonetics of it. I'm gonna try it. Go for it. Chigo, uh, Chigo Giza. There you go. Perfect. Giza. And then Chris Stega, right? Correct. Got there it. we go. Woo. All right, guys. That was already hard. I'm done for the day. There we go. <laughs> um, so thank you guys. You guys are um, with, they're both with Perlin. Yori is the CEO of Perlin. And Chris is the um, CMO. Um, and we are I'm happy that you guys can join us. I know there's been a, f a lot of questions that people came in that have registered for um, Wise Agent that have, are curious to know what um, Perlin is. So we're gonna be talking about that and how AI can capture and nurture leads behalf of, um, of agents. So I know um, um, I wanted to get through um, what our topic was. And Chris, I know you've got a little presentation to, um, to show everyone. And before we um, start with that, I just wanted to remind everyone that we are recording. We are on Facebook Live, so you can, um, and you will be getting an email with the recording after the um, webinar is completed. And you can, of course, find it also in our Facebook community and our Wise Agent community on Facebook, as well as on YouTube. If you have any questions throughout the webinar today, please post in the chat channel and there's also the Q&A section. So I'm happy to answer um, and we're happy to answer any of the questions that you guys might be having. And we're gonna go through the questions that you guys have um, asked for this week's webinar. So, all right, Chris, I think we've got some introductions and everything else out of the way. So um, I'll let you kind of take it over and explain to everyone what Perlin is and what you guys do. All right. Well, first off, thank you, Eleni, so much. We're thrilled to be partners with the uh, finest CRM company in the real estate business. Um, I'm going to share my screen. And I'll do a short, um, actually a short uh, presentation first. And we'll jump into a little bit of a demo as well. So. One of the questions that came through, um, and it's important, obviously, uh, is what is Perlin or, or who are who are we? So what is Perlin? But you know, technically, um, why is my uh -oh, my forward button's not working? Sorry. Okay. Um, technically, a Perlin is a horizontal slant slant uh, flat that holds up uh, your ro roof of your house. Um, that's where it came from, and you know, without. A roof, you don't have a home. Uh, with it, uh, without a home, you don't you don't live. And so, you know, sort of emotionally, we're all about uh, matching up people with with the right home, not not the address. That's the point. Now, we don't make purlins anymore, um, but uh, if we were to make purlins, they'd probably look like this, uh, because we are a technology company and we think we're really cool. Um, so, uh, one thing that I want to go through quickly before we dive in is, you know, fundamentally, um, you know, we are an AI company, um, but people have sort of a misconception of what AI is and what it does. Um, so the, the old, and, and when we got into developing our technology, we realized that it's, it's really much more than what may be scary to people. Automation being the thing that replaces agents. Um, you've seen this. Um, automation being something that actually generalizes the client need making it a less favorable experience uh, rather than positive. And all of this be is because, you know, the roots of automation and often technology, uh, they're about, you know, a business models based on efficiency um, over experience. And the example image right here, um, a lot of your chat bots um, that are considered intelligent, uh, intelligent are actually more or less like your automated phone menu that you encounter when you call the dentist to confirm an appointment. Um, what we call AI, in the way we do it is intelligent personalization. Um, and so what that really means, it's a fundamental shift in, in, our philosophy, in the philosophy, which is about making agents better rather than eliminating them. It's really about befriending clients. So customizing the experience to, to each client individually and to their needs. Um, and it's really about experience. The business model is about the experience, the brand is built on an elevation of the experience for users. What you see scrolling here um, is actually uh, our intelligent chat. And you'll notice it's very conversational. 
um, it is actually the product of um, literally um, thousands of hours of training where we've used, we've developed um, the expertise on our own staff and, and elsewhere, um, you know, thousands of questions and answers and synonyms of those questions and answers and paraphrases um, and built that in, trained our AI. So um, people using our tools can actually have a real conversation and the tool actually learns from that conversation. And part of the way it answers questions to become more human rather than robotic and to be more specific rather than generalized is it understands what the profile of the user is before it answers a question, it knows what houses they're looking at, what things they like. So that's just in a nutshell. Um, so more or less what we do is we personalize and we connect the dots. Um, we have a whole suite of tools that are based on our intelligent platform. Um, we won't go into all these individually. Um, what we're going to focus on today is really the what, what the agent value is, um, and as it relates to and as it connects to um, the CRM solutions that Wise Agent um, offers. And so, um, principally, it's about we're not a we're not a lead company. We're a lead nurturer. Uh, we do help you source them, but we're all about nurturing leads to the close, nurturing them into a CRM system. Um, what I'll show you is ways that you can actually use our tools to create very fresh and customized content and uh, share it as well. Um, and then initially, it's really about um, the way to develop and, and boost your online presence um, through a branded experience that is, that is very unique and custom. Um, so that's kind of the, the overview. Um, now, let's step back and, and look at you know, what, what the actual user path might be. So um, for our, our first uh, entry point product, which is our, our listing page. Um, think about, you know, anyone who's shopping for a home might see a sign, um, might find a house online, whatever. Um, here's an example where you could actually, you know, be going through a neighborhood or, or find a listing through the web. And if you were to snap a shot of this QR code, um, it would throw you into a listing page. Um, and this is a listing page that's available to agents um, that is a co-branded experience um, you know the chat that is that pops up is, is basically your chat that has your information um, it's fully claimable when you give us your listings um, they are only going to be marketed on our platform by you um, and the other thing is that it's very shareable um, now this this listing page which is obviously striking and beautiful um, contains uh, hang on a second oh. All of the information uh, that you might expect. So it's the detailed uh, descriptions, it's summarized um, when it was built, um, lifestyle um, components, these come from our own um, uh, data um, and school information that's, and also uh, neighborhood location, walkability, that sort of thing. And a proprietary payment calculator that's sort of a precursor to doing pre-approvals for a loan. Um, so let's go back to, uh, the first part of the listing page, you'll notice the chat that pops up. Um, so this is important. Um, this The chat is actually, and all of the behaviors that are on um, uh, on the site throughout the experience are um, integrated with the Facebook pixel. And so basically, um, ultimately, you can use the information there to help you in targeting um, your Facebook campaigns. Um, and we, we believe we're the only ones that can do this because uh, it's, it's not based on lookalikes, it's based on interests. And so it's the one, it's the sort of intersection of, of the price and the location and the actual interests of, of the users that would be collected through interactions with images and, and through the listings people prefer and visit and that sort of thing. And, and so that's it's a very... Have, sorry, Chris, just to interject there. And that's why you have those images in that chat bot where it's yep. basically like, do you like the pool, the backyard? What's important to you? Is it the views? Is it the kitchen? Is it the living space? Is that, is that kind of like what you're talking about when you say the interests? That's absolutely right. So as the user mm -hmm. goes through our tools and, and indicate either by through, you know, an actual indication of the interest checking on the box or by the time they spend on certain pictures or in certain rooms, and we'll go through that later. But yeah. um, so all of that information is gathered by our backend. Um, and ultimately can inform um, our Facebook integration and, and help you with targeting in a way that is, I must add, is compliant, which is a really important thing. Um, okay, so now we're gonna shift gears a little bit and get into a little bit of a demo. Um, all right, so if you um, come to 
Marco's website, his his website here, you get to it and it's, you know, this is branded. And so um, it's got his greeting, which, um, you know, which you can customize, put whatever you want to greet your, greet your uh, potential client, client or clients. It's got the um, information uh, and a little bit of background. This is all tailored to, to the experience that you uh, want to deliver. Um, the other thing is what's, what's really cool about the tool is that um, one thing that you, you cannot do on any other um, search tool or, or, home, or tool like this is to look at um, uh, locations and prices and individual rooms of listings. Um, you can't do that on you know, Zillow or Redfin or whatever. So I'll, I'll just do a little example. These are you know, private pools in Tampa. We've searched for high-end uh, listings that have pools. You could also check out in those listings, you could check out the interiors of each one of these and you could check out the living rooms you can check out the dining rooms um, and bedrooms. I mean, anything you want, you can actually explore each one of these. Um, and what's really cool about it is, you know, Marco over here um, can basically, if someone, for instance, is really interested in high-end kitchens uh, and he wants to promote kitchens specifically for a certain price range in a certain geographic area like Tampa um, or, or zip code, whatever, um, he can create a Pinterest-like board like this uh, with only those properties that fit those parameters and can use that in numerous ways, can share that, can use it as a way to uh, promote his own uh, expertise and knowledge of a certain area or a certain even design. That's the other component. Our, our tools can recognize architectural styles, which is not something that others can do. Um, all of this is, is um, I should step back, is based on um, image intelligence combination of, of machine learning and computer vision, we'll go into detail, but basically it's a lot of what we, our search technology is based, is image-based, um, trained by literally hundreds of thousands of images. Um, so the, the other cool thing about creating this board, obviously, is it's very shareable in, in the same way that the listings are. Um, now, uh, an, another thing that you can do, another cool feature for agents is, and we've talked about it as a virtual CMA, um, and so basically, if you would go to a certain, say you want to look at, uh, you can type in a, basically a, an address. So I'm going to put in 853 North Person Avenue. Now what it does is it says, okay, at that, your address, you know, he prays a lot of partner tells us it's a $1.6 million valuation. Now you can actually search for other homes in that area that have a similar valuation. Um, it's sort of, it's, it's like doing a comp analysis. So I'm, I'm gonna do that now. Um, but the difference between this and a comp analysis is basically you're getting it by room. So you can look at the living rooms of your comps. You can look at your dining rooms of comps. Um, you can look at the bedrooms of comps. And so really, um, the, the point there is, let's go into a kitchen. Uh, you know, we have, we have two, two sayings, actually, I should have mentioned this. Um, one is, you know, in some cases, the sum of the rooms is greater than the whole of the home valuation. Meaning, if you have a very a traditional, you know, uh, online valuations as calculated in a kind of rudimentary way, um, market value, square footage, that sort of thing, you might be missing out on some really key interior features. So this tool allows you to go in and look at what your features might be, your kitchen, you know, how you've adorned your kitchen, your appliances, and that sort of thing, versus others. And you can actually come up with a way. There's lots of creative things. You're, I'm sure your, your uh, heads are spinning a little bit um, that agents could use this tool to inform, you know, valuation thoughts and that sort of thing. Um, so that's really cool. Um, and the other saying we have actually is, is uh, that, that the, the whole world has an idea for your appraisal without your permission. So in other words, the value of home without your permission. So basically, you know, there's a million tools out there that say, okay, you know, 835, 53 person is worth $1.67 million. Hey, well, wait a minute. That's ignoring lots of things like curb value and the kitchen renovation and all these other things. Um, so, and once those uh, appraisals are out there, once a the number is out there in the world, very hard to move it, right? If you, if you set that expectation in the market. So this is another tool. There's a tool that can possibly be a, something in your war chest um, to help out.
That's really so, cool. And, that, and this e appraisal is all powered by um, by Perlin. It's powered by you guys. Yes, it is. This is uh, well. Appraisal is is integrated into our tool as as okay. part of as part of our offering. So, okay. um, but then that's all of the technology related to finding the comparable homes and searching by all of these, uh, you know, by room and by feature and and by price. All of that, uh, all of those tools. Basically, we get the number from our our valuation partner, but then we apply it in a way that others don't. And we allow, you know, we sort of give you a way to, in a very stunning visual uh, manner, um, create, you know, you can create a board for your, yeah. for your client that says, hey, here's what your comps look like in the kitchen and that and the whatever. And, you know, here, here's here, you can set expectations and that sort of thing. It's, it's a very powerful tool that, that um, as far as we know, no one else can do because no one has, has taken the approach of uh, image-based intelligence to the degree that we have. Yeah. And that... Um... That's kind of cool because then you can, you know, so if you have a number for your house and, you know, and it maybe it doesn't align with, um, you know, what, what you're thinking for everybody else, you can go in and kind of peek into other people's homes where you're thinking that's the value of your house to see how does your com kitchen compare to that kitchen? How does your, you know, the facade of your home, you know, or the, the you know, the curb appeal, uh, appeal, you know, look compared to yours. So that's a really Correct. interesting way it that's really cool absolutely and and i just popped this up if you click on any of those homes once you say you've got a board with all of these comparable homes and how their kitchens and the rooms compare you can click on any one of those and just go through and look at all the other pictures of the home so in terms of you know being able to really evaluate what's out there um the we've spent a lot of time um creating a very usable and and actually um uh, beautiful interface to uh to help you do that and we have a question here um, how is the thumbprint photo chosen by Perlin? So what if there's um, several kitchen photos? Does it automatically grab the first one or, you know, how, how is that done? So Eleni, I was just typing an answer to Becky here. Yeah. So we have condition scores like to, you know, the system knows this is actually a good shot. This is a wide shot. It has a lot of components in it versus this is a narrow, narrow shot of a kitchen. So it will, it will choose the best scored photo. Uh, and then that's the waterfall kitchen, highest score. And then if they're all equal, then it will take the first photo in the sequence from the listing as it was uploaded. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah, because I mean, you know, like what you're showing right now, there's one of just kind of like the range versus the other ones where it's a little bit more, um, you know, kind of pull, scaled back so you can see, um, you know, what the kitchen looks like. So it's nice to be able to have that kind of comparison view if it's possible, if it's there. So that's really cool. Yeah. And another question here from Mike, where do you guys pull or grab the information from when I'm um, talking about comparative listings? So uh, again, this is Georgi again, I'll just answer real quick. Uh, the information comes directly from the MLS. And what we do is we have a machine look at every photo for every listing and label those photos, as you can see here, based on the room, style, and condition of the uh, room uh, that it represents. So we grab the photos from the MLS and we add additional labels to it using computer vision and machine learning. Nice. I don't know if I answered the question, I tried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me yeah. know if I didn't. Okay. No, that's great. I mean, I, I think this is all like such a new concept, I think, for pretty much everyone that's attending this webinar. Um, I've had the the pleasure to kind of see some of this um, beforehand. So it, it's kind of nice to um, share this finally with, with a lot of people here. But to be able to see, um, you know, because artificial intelligence, machine learning, that's a new concept for um, even people in the technology field. So um, bringing that out into, you know, real estate and how that relates and how that can be um, driven um, and help, you know, drive, drive traffic to your properties. Because I think ultimately that's what you guys are doing is having these listing pages to drive traffic there. So you can promote your listing page. Um, you're getting all the leads. The realtor is getting all the leads. It's not like um, they're being sold to other mm -hmm. um realtors or other entities right no absolutely not and, and it's like chris said right so we think that the agents on this call on this webinar in general they're the experts of their neighborhoods right they know uh, what people should are looking be. Yeah. For. yeah so what we're saying is like look here's the tool create a board 
uh, I, I just spoke to someone and he said, I cannot figure out how to find private tools in palm springs. I said, no problem, <laughs> it's our website, right? So, but that's a specific, uh, it's, you know, they live in the Bay Area, they're moving to Palm Springs, they don't want a high rise, you know, condo building, they want a single family home with a private pool. And it's like, I can't figure it out how to do it online. So that's, that's where an expert in Palm Springs knows that that's the market where people from SF or San Francisco are moving to Palm Springs looking for the specific experience. So you can create a board for the experience and promote it uh, on social media, et cetera, on your website and things like that. And that's the idea. We don't know the combinations of these things that matter in each market. Uh, no one does really because it's too vast, but you guys do, the agents do. So here's, we basically what we're doing is taking a listing and breaking it down into rooms. We create a new level of information, which is rooms and style, right? And we, we've given it to agents to say, use it, create the combos of market snapshot that makes sense for your market that you think, uh, especially now with COVID with everyone moving around and having different interests, it makes sense for you to kind of establish your authority on, um, you know, whatever that is for your market and just use our tool to create that kind of Pinterest like board and create that experience for your potential buyers. And it's just like you said, Eleni, for the seller, it's like, okay, I think my home's worth 2 million bucks and okay, let's type in uh, your home address. Let's look at $2 million homes nearby. Hmm, these kitchens look like they've all been remodeled recently. So what does that tell us? So all of a sudden, it's a very friendly photo-based conversation around a specific room in a seller's, uh, when you're doing a listing presentation in a seller's um, house that you don't have to tell them, they can see it, right? The agent doesn't have to say, oh, your kitchen sucks. Uh, instead, <laughs> it's like, okay, let's type in the address. Let's look at all the homes at $2 million. They're all remodeled. So what does that tell us? Like, and the, and the seller can make that conclusion on their own. Uh, and that's kind, of, that's kind of the power of this for the sellers in the listing presentations. Like, speak, pictures speak for themselves, you know? Yeah. You don't have to add analysis on it. It's yeah. obvious, so. Yeah, and I mean, and that's, um, it is, it can, it can help with some of those awkward conversations of um, this $2 million property has a, um, you know, a, it's been completely redone and overhauled where yours at that price range hasn't. So, you know, it can't compare. Um, so that, that's a really cool thing. That's an interesting, you know, way of, of looking at it and having, um, giving that, giving that data to the agents to be able to kind of prove without having to actually physically go drive over look in the house and and do whatnot so that's a really cool way of doing it and i know you guys also um you guys are also doing stuff with um helping nurture you, were, you said chris earlier that you guys are helping agents nurture um you know client you know potential clients and leads coming in can you talk to that point I think a good example of that would be, you know, the, the way the, the tool actually works and we call it a style explorer uh, uh, for a reason. When someone comes in, before they even start looking at an actual listing and, and you know how it works if you're online and you sign up for one of the services, you get barraged with emails, with listings that, that the machine thinks are appropriate. Um, instead, if, if someone is interested, comes into the, into the branded site, they can do their own exploration and figure out, you know, okay, I'm, I'm really interested in you know, Mediterranean homes, or, you know, I want to look at what Mediterranean kitchens are like in this area, or I want to, you know, it's sort of, it's preceding um, the customers in the process. It's sort of getting, catching people's attention, exposing them to a different, completely different kind of home buying environment uh, before they even, you know, start actually down the, the process as a client. Um, so we see it as, as a way to, to lure in uh, buyers in that way. Um, and you know it can be used as a as a marketing tool for sellers as well. So we think the actual user experience is is elevated on online in a way that um, will not only attract customers um, and and be associated with your with your brand as well, um, but but keep them engaged. And as the tool, as as uh, you know, the clients work within the tool, as we mentioned before. Um, it continually learns about, you know, about what they do and what they need and how you can promote to them. So in, in that way, you know, it gets better and better. Um, yeah. So you can, it's not just a, you know, a, a raw lead, you know, a ton of information before you even talk to them. So uh, there is also a question here um, 
about social media, and I think yeah. it goes back to nurturing as well. So Chris, if you can pull up the presentation where the chat is on the listing page. Oh, uh, yeah. You just had that up. Uh, so go okay. to the one that chat is on the listing yeah, page. Yeah, so just blow it up a little bit. So this is an okay. example of both nurturing and the social media example, right? So yes. Uh, so we have this, the, the, when we say nurturing, it's two things. One is that there is a chat that's now integrated with Facebook Messenger that basically can answer questions uh, about the home, about the neighborhood during a showing. If the, someone's, uh, someone scans your QR code for the showing, you can try to, again, if you want, you will have this kind of conversation before and after the showing uh, that says, uh, and by the way, showings are coming back. Open houses are coming back. In yeah. California, they're back. I know some areas it's not, but we 100% believe they're coming back. That's crazy that some people are saying they're not coming back. But uh, uh, so here is an example of the chat saying, hey, on behalf of the agent, hey, what did you like about this home, right? Did you like this room or this room or that room? And now we know uh, that, you know, 60% of 70% of the people who came in to this open house and also looked at this listing page online, really like the kitchen. Uh, of this or really like the way the swimming pool works or really like the way how it has a modern feature to it. So that's just extra data point that we collect and then we map that for you. We'll, we'll, we don't have a Facebook uh, ad piece into this yet, but what we can, what you can do is you can share. Chris, can you show the sharing of the board on Facebook? Because that answers the question that was in the chat, yeah. please. Yeah, and then I can... So, Go ahead. I'll, I'll let you share that and then I can um, share to, um, to everyone here what what you can do on um, with like a Facebook ad using right. our landing pages that are maybe more um, just a less specific to a property. They're just general landing pages that you can use um, and then show I can show you guys that here in a minute. Yeah. Uh, Sorry about this. This is this so was anyway, <laughs> uh, you can share anything directly to Facebook. It will create a post. Uh, you can. Uh, uh, Sorry, you can, I don't have this. Uh, no problem. So you can share directly at the listing page or this board. Like, you know how we talked about uh, pools and yeah. you know um, Palm Springs. So you can share that board on Facebook from here. Uh, you will create a post. You can obviously you will select the photo, but you can change the photo. Mm -hmm. uh, you will uh, pull in the description, but you can change the description. And then if you'd like, you can, like Eleni said, you can put a promo budget on top of it in Facebook and boost that post if you wanted to do extra marketing on top of that. Yeah, so um, I was just gonna share my screen here. Um, so the way that Facebook ads and Google ads and um, Instagram ads and all these different ads on social media works, um, not to get too off topic, but this was a question on um, how you can post ads and, and um, on social media. And what you can do is um, through Wise Agent, you can have, and I'm just sharing, my, I'm gonna start sharing my screen here, is what you can do is you can have it where, um, uh, have create the ad on whatever social platform that you want to have it created on and then um, have it going have that ad going to a landing page and so once you're in your wise agent account you would go into um, you know your your landing page and you can create the landing page here um, to have because with these ads what you're doing is you're driving traffic to that page and you want there to be a landing page that has a single, you know, just a, a single point of, um, or a single purpose. So that's what's nice about landing pages is that they just have this single purpose. It's not like a full blown website um, that you would be able to distract them like, oh, and click on my blog and then view all my listings and then do this. And then, you know, so with the landing page, it's just, one thing where you're just getting them to um, really understand, you know, getting them to fill out that form. So if I go ahead and create this single property form, and I'll just say it's, um, you know, for Facebook ad, right? So I can save that. I can come in here and just really customize what I want this to look like, you know, where it's uh, my internet's. Seems to be kind of slow. Did I lose you guys? 
Everyone's kind of frozen. Are you still there, Chris? Yeah, we can see it. Okay, okay. Sorry, everything kind of froze on my end here. Um, so you can cut. You can customize this landing page to be whatever it is. This one's just particular um, about a particular listing, but you can have it where it's about you know selling your house and then having what we call the, these lead magnets, like um, you know five mistakes that sellers make. And so what you're doing is you're having them kind of go to your, your landing page based on the ad that you're, you're putting out there on social media and then having them fill out this form. So there is no other clicks. They can't click on anything else. The only thing they can do here is kind of read what you've written out and fill out this form and then click on this, get my guide for free. And then once they get, you know, click on this, um, this is called the lead magnet, then it can come into, you could come into your wise agent account, create your lead rules saying, okay, now based on this Facebook ad that I've done, I want them because I promised them I would give them some kind of content. I'll give them, oops, wrong content. I'll give them that content of, you know, um, whatever it was, I think five, five mistakes, um, you know, sellers make. And so now you can create the rule where it automatically goes out to them and you're able to create that ad, create that whole entire flow. So all ads need a page to land on. And when you're creating multiple ads and you wanna usually run multiple, you usually do run multiple ads, you want them going to a landing page instead of just going to your homepage, your, your, um, your website. So hopefully that explains it, Myra. Um, if not, let me know and we can talk offline on that and even do a whole, I know we've talked about it in, in other webinars and we'll be talking about that more in, in subsequent webinars too. But that's how that would work is you want landing pages for your specific ads. But what Perlin does too is because you guys have these beautiful listing pages, um, you can have them you know, going to that listing page as well as on an ad. That's correct. And then in terms of Myra's question about, uh, do we have to have your website? I don't know, Chris, if you can share Marco's website again, uh, real quick. Um, yeah, yeah, you're okay. able to do that. Yeah, here's and Marco's. Then, uh, we have a question from Mike uh, in the Q and A and I'll answer that too, Eleni. Oh, yes, we do, we have a couple of questions, there you go. So while Chris is getting- um, Yeah, while Chris is getting this, I'll answer next question, for which was so the from question Mike. was, are you a um, member of, of the MLS? So in Virginia specifically, we are not today, Mike. We are, uh, we're working with a couple of brokerages in your area, uh, planning to launch um, hopefully within, within the month. Just so you guys know, the way this process works is, you know, you know Chris has hundreds of thousands, um, but it's really, it's really millions. So right now we have 2 million photos in our database that we use for training of this uh, system. So when we go into a new MLS, it could take about a week to train, maybe two weeks, depending on how unique architecturally that area is. It may take some couple of weeks to train our system to recognize some new things. Uh, but normally within a week or two, we can basically go in a new MLS and launch this experience in it. Uh, Virginia is right now on our roadmap for April, but we are not today in Virginia. And I think you are in Virginia, Mike. Uh, but in general, uh, we are part of MLSs either directly or through a partnership with a real estate brokerage or a bunch of brokerages uh, that operate in that market. As for, uh, go ahead. Can you, can you explain which MLSs you are in right now? So right now we are basically anywhere, pretty much anywhere in California. Uh, we are in MRED in Chicago area. We are in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, in the Triangle area. We are in Tampa and a couple of other air places in Florida. And then we have Virginia, Texas. Like we're we're rolling things out. We have a whole roadmap of rollout. And again, the reason it takes time is because we need to make sure that the computer can recognize photos in that specific area. Just not to get nerdy, but we don't pull out put out anything unless we have like 96% F1 score which measures the accuracy and completeness of recall for a machine learning model. So we're very, very deliberate about accuracy. So we will not launch a market unless we know that 98% of the time, basically, it will label a photo correctly. 
Um, so that's what the one or two weeks are for. And then we have a whole roadmap of uh, MLSs that are planned. If someone's interested uh, in an area that we're not in right now, like I said, it could be, it's probably a two week conversation to launch it. Um, does that make sense, Eleni? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then uh, this is Marco's website. So to, I believe it was, was it Myra or Maya? Yeah, I think it was Myra. Um, so this is the website and you can own your own version of this website, basically, is what Chris is saying, right? So this particular URL you see here in the URL says presented by Marco and his, uh, uh, his ID for the real estate board there. Mm -hmm. um, so you can have presented by Myra. It will, this, this is right now, next week, is going to be integrated with Facebook chat. So you, can, you will have an option, option of having, let's say, you know, Wednesdays from 4 to 6, I'm training my daughter's soccer practice, which is kind of what I do. So I don't want to be on the phone, right? And uh, uh, so the AI can jump in and answer questions about properties, neighborhood, capture your lead, talk to people about this listing if you want to, or it will go directly to your messenger, uh, Facebook messenger. If someone reaches, reaches out to you, it's totally up to you, but it will be this branded experience. You will have your own URL. Anywhere that click around, as long as your uh, MLS ID carries in area, anywhere that click around within your URL that you see here uh, stays with you uh, forever. And this is how listing pages work as well. Basically, listing page is your URL is just that listing page. This is kind of next level up where your URL can handle any combination of rooms and locations and price points and photos of properties. And the next level after that, which we've been asked to consider is well, what if I just want to dominate my zip code or my area? So that's also an option. So those are the three levels, like listing page, presenter URL, just board, you know, experience uh, URL. And then third option is, um, you know, zip code city area. Uh, but the third option is uh, more, um, you know, obviously it's more involved. Okay, awesome. And so um, there was a question um, here about what area in Texas, did you say that you are in the MLS? So, no, I said that we're, we're launching in Texas very soon, Ron. Okay. Unfortunately, we are not in Texas right now. It's in, it's in the works. We're launching very soon. We will definitely let you know once that's up and coming, up and running. Okay. And I'm going to share my screen one more time here. Um, I'm going to just um, show everyone how they can get to um, get to your services. So if you guys go to from within your wise agent account, if you go to tools and then go to our marketplace, um, you can come in here and see um, right here, it's an alphabetical order. So you can see here there's Perlin, there's a learn more button. Um, go ahead and click on that. And I'll let you guys um, talk a little bit about um, pricing, because I know that's um, one thing that people have been asking about. And also, um, I think you did mention that you are in Florida. We did. I, so Donna's asking about Fort Lauderdale. We're on the east, I don't know what to call it, the east, uh, I mean, the western side of the panhandle. This is on, so we're going to be, Fort Lauderdale is also in the works, <laughs> uh, Donna. So Fort Lauderdale and Virginia and Texas, they're all coming sometime in uh, April and uh, May right okay. now. Okay. Sarasota. More people in Florida, like Sarasota. Yeah, there's like... a lot of people in Florida. The good news is <laughs> we already have a toehold in Florida. Sarasota, I think we have. Uh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna write out all these questions and um, we can yeah. respond to that individually. Uh, but again, you, if you want to learn more, if you're interested in a certain area, it, we are uh, in. I'm seeing Dallas, Texas again. Dallas is uh, April. Uh, so, um, you know, reach out to us. I'm going to write down all these uh, uh, questions here and I will reach out to you individually through the chat. Uh, but also if you want to kind of uh, reach, to, uh, reach, reach out to us directly, just uh, please go ahead and fill out this form and uh, Chris or I or one of our associates will get back to you and have a conversation specifically about the timeline, what's involved and things like that. But like I said, the process of launching it um, is pretty painless and it takes a couple of weeks. In terms of the pricing, um, you know, we have early bird pricing, we have wise agent pricing. I mean, it's, uh, 
everyone here who has a wise energy account gets a significant discount automatically chris i don't know if you want to share that screen or i don't know if you you can share yeah, it yeah i can i can do that really quickly if you want um what is the learning curve is the next one from Cheryl and I'll answer yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, so there's a couple of questions. So what's the learning curve? I mean, I, I, I've used it and it's, it's a pretty, you guys have a mobile app too, right? I know. We, we do have a mobile app and that's where the nurturing comes in, right? So when someone, when someone downloads, when someone goes to, so let me step back, right? So we basically are saying there is a, stage of exploration, right? We're looking at kitchens and locations and, and that stage of exploration has blown up because of COVID, right? Everyone's moving around. New York had one of the worst years. Florida has one of, and Dallas had one of the best, best years. California has the lowest increase of population, net inflows for hundred years. So things have changed a lot <laughs> since of COVID. So the reason our tool is so popular is because it really helps people explore things within the agent curated environment, right? So this exploration piece, really, I think the learning curve is zero because it's very visual. It's all about rooms. <laughs> it's all about clicking on photos. It's, if you've used Pinterest, you can probably use this uh, with zero learning curve as a user or as an agent. And then the mobile app and, and other things that you mentioned, that's when, you, let's say you can just take that lead off of this website, your branded website, or you can get dropped in the mobile app and you continue to look, continue to nurture, continue to converse. It really depends on every user, but we can, um, you know, we will nurture them for you as long as they come through your uh, web uh, URL that I showed you earlier. Uh, so this pricing, uh, is basically wise agent pricing. Uh, we, we're we really not trying to make it expensive. Honestly, we're just trying to make it accessible. We think that, like I said, the exploration is such a big need for users, for buyers, especially right now. We want to make this accessible to as many people as possible right now. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is kind of what we had in mind after we spoke to Eleni. We basically said we don't really need to, you know, focus on revenue right now we just want to help people and 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 um, grow our scale so this is what we came up with with wise agent discounts uh, i don't think this is going to last for a long time but um, like i said we cherish the partnership with the wise agent and uh, you guys get a special um special i don't want to sound like a salesman but <laughs> no, that's not, i mean it's always it's it's great value it is really yeah. good value you know you get that listing page that's free in the platform um, if I'm reading this correctly, it's, it's just $5 a month, um, you know, and so that's a really, there's a lot of value to this. Um, and I know um, we didn't even talk about our integration that's going to be happening. Um, we're still in the works of it. There's, there's um, a lot to come and there's a lot to integrate with it. Um, and that's why we've, we've partnered um, together with Perlin is because it does, it will be really seamless getting in um, what your buyers are, what, you know, your potential sellers are looking at and buyers are looking at what they're doing. Um, that'll be all in noted into the, into wise agent. So you can see that and, you know, kind of take action based on what they're, um, what they're looking at and what they're doing, um, which is really a great thing. And then being able to add more to that, that content to that, that nurturing content that we talk about so much that's so important to make sure that you're reaching out and you're talking about the things that they're interested in so if they're interested in you know um they're interested in having a, a private pool and, and beautiful kitchen um then talk to those points on the properties that they're looking at and the properties that you want to show them instead of you know something that's a fixer upper that they're not really interested in doing you know and having yeah so uh, there are a couple more questions, Eleni. Do you want me to yeah. take a uh, take a stab at them? Yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, Mike, uh, I'm going to reach out to you directly. I found, uh, you know, I, I found your website. I'm going to reach out to you directly and talk about the uh, Virginia um, area and Outer Berks, in North Carolina. Uh, it's it's right like it's right where we are already, so it makes sense to kind of. <laughs> do a pencil movement there and circle into that area. So I will reach out to you personally on that. Make it sound super interesting. Can potential buyers search by budget? So this is a, this is a thing that we debate all the time, guys. Um, uh, that's Becky's question. So Chris, if you don't mind to pull up the listing page to the bottom of it, where it has the mortgage calculator. 
So I come from the mortgage business, just so you guys know. Like I did decades and decades of joint ventures and marketing agreements with large and small and medium-sized real estate companies and home builders. Um, so, you know, I, I understand mortgage really, really well and I'm, I understand budgets really, really well and we do, but we actually stayed away from entering a dollar sign in the exploration page. You know, the style explorer that Chris showed you when people are exploring, it's really not about a dollar per se. It's about, do you care about kitchens or do you care about backyards or do you care about swimming pools or like, what do you care about, right? What, what, and people, remember, people can peek photos, they can save boards, like they can create their own collage of what they care about. On the listing page, we have a mortgage calculator, just answering the question about the budget that people can use specifically. And it's also a lead capture for you. And then on the mobile app, once they're actually searching right now, once they're actually searching, the, it basically pre-approves them. Um, and if we have time, I can show you the mobile app and how it pre-approves them. So instead of people saying, my budget is $2 million or so $1 million or 500,000 or 300,000, which having lent tens of billions of dollars personally, I know that no one knows that number really well, uh, especially early in the search process. So in the mobile app, the way it works is it says, okay, just tell me a little bit about how much money you make, how much money you have, and it tries to pre-approve them and give them a budget. It creates a budget for them. And then every home they see in the feed from that point onward, let's say they get a budget here, they get a budget on the mobile app, every home they see it's okay, this home is probably 2% above your budget, this home is below your budget. So our apps, our system it does not have filters, guys, it does not have any binary filters, it does not preclude you from seeing any home. Uh, it's also illegal to do that. So instead, what it does is, I think your budget is this you really like modern kitchens. Here's a home that has an awesome modern kitchen. It appears to be 3% three, 3 above your budget. Do you wanna call your agent and talk about whether or not you can afford this home? That's our solution to price search. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me like you, uh, Becky, can we just add a filter for price? <laughs> and we are working on that functionality uh, on the Style Explorer page. Uh, I am hesitant about it, but I think that we will be launching it in a kind of a user-friendly way without compromising this concept of there is no filters, like there is no filter bubble. You search, you see homes, you like homes, then you figure out, can I afford it or not? And all of that happens within the system. Sorry for the long-winded answer, uh, Becky, but you just hit on something that, you know, it's a big debate internally and it's big debate with some of the partners that we're already working with. No, you, I think you, I think you um, spoke really well on that. And I think what it is basically, it's about the experience. It's yes. about having a very customized experience. This is like, I am looking for this. I am, you know, I am a um, potential buyer looking for homes with a beautiful backyard and a beautiful kitchen. Um, and I'm not, I'm really not willing to compromise on those two spaces on everything else. I'm kind of okay with. Right. Um, so like, those are the things and it's about that experience. I think that, um, that you're, you're, you're kind of playing up on for, um, the consumers to be, um, to be looking for and, and to make that experience a really unique one. And also one that's, that's fun. I mean, who doesn't like looking at beautiful kitchens when that's what they're interested in? Um, and that's what they will focus on. So, um, yeah. And we have another um, question here from our friend, Ed. Um, are you expanding to, um, to Michigan? Yeah, I was just gonna type to Ed, where in Michigan? Uh, it's clustered MLS uh, system. So uh, we, we, we already, we're already in MRAD and that's like, you know, I think 13% of the US. I mean, we have a pretty good foothold in the Midwest already with MRAD and uh, some of our partners there I have been asking us to move to Michigan. Michigan has not been planned yet. So I would have presumed it will be somewhere around June timeframe if I had to put a date on it. Yeah. But it has not been, Detroit Metro. Yes, Detroit Metro uh, and Ann Arbor will be the first two to go in Michigan. And I would say right now, um, sometime in June, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and so is, um, Cheryl's asking, is there a way to check this out to see what the user experience is? I think that's a Great yes, so you can go to perlane.com to see kind of pure play unbranded experience. And then I'm gonna go ahead and share my um, 
my you know test experience for you guys here in the notes right now i mean in the here we go and this is you know uh, this is can i can i chat can i put it in chat i guess yeah yeah absolutely two panelists and attendees so this is my personal non-threatening non-competing just like demonstration experience um, to see how it works with the branding on it. And the next week you'll see the chat that pops out with my head on it. You'll be integrated with my messenger. So next week we're gonna launch messenger integration with Facebook. So your Instagram chat, your Facebook chat um, will be hooked into that branded experience that you will see on there. Uh, we worked really hard, Eleni, to launch it for this webinar, yeah. uh, but it's just not ready for prime time this today, but it will be, it'll be up and running next week. Yeah. And I'm uh, sure everyone appreciates that. It's always, um, it's always best to be, you know, yeah. good and solid instead of just yeah. getting something out just to get it out. So yeah, we try to be, be pretty week. deliberate, but yeah, next week we'll be integrated with Facebook chat. And, you know, if someone chats with you on our website that you see there, the branded, or they can take it to their messenger, they can take it to your Instagram chat, they can take it to their web chat, and you can do the same. So it's very robust. It's a new interface. It's a new API from Facebook, and we were super excited about that. Yeah, and I know, and that's all. All of your leads will be coming into. You can connect it where all of the leads will be coming into Wise Agent. So all the leads will be coming directly yeah. to Wise Agent. Yep. Yeah, and, and that's um, I know that was another question. And so um, you'll you'll definitely be able to get those leads. So then you can nurture them. You can um, you know you can uh, we're we're getting an opa on that. So awesome. Yeah. So um, yeah. So definitely getting all of your leads and having your your nurturing and your relationship building happening through Wise Agent. So um, I really, um, I really appreciate you guys being on here today and, and sharing all of this stuff with you um, with everyone here.